Hello my friends and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. In yesterday's video, we did end our day talking with Dutch about several ways to potentially make money for the Vanderling gang and yeah, I still have no faith that any are going to work out, but maybe I just need to be more positive. It could entirely be different this time around, right? <laughs> but in today's video, I do want to start our day by looking through Arthur's journal and just get caught up on everything that's happened. So let's see, there's a raccoon. And there is the mayor of Saint Denis mansion that we went to yesterday for a party. And let's see here. My Lord, now I have done everything. I went to a ball like a fool in a fairy tale. The mayor of Saint Denis. Dutch got us invited by old Senor Bronte and we trooped, trussed up like turkeys for Thanksgiving and waxed and polished and primped to within an inch of our lives. Bronte did not mingle with the other guests, but lorded over the place like a Roman emperor, deciding who to have killed for his fun. Kind of. That's a pretty apt description. Anyway, place was full of drunks, lunatics, liars, and clowns. But the thing was kind of fun. Managed to get it managed to not get into too much trouble and may have some business opportunities on account of inquiries there. We shall see, I guess. Seeing Bill dressed up like an ambassador and awkward as a schoolgirl was one of the funniest moments of my life. Met Evelyn Miller, the writer, which was amazing for Dutch. Met the mayor. Dutch and Hosea seem to think this dump is a world of possibilities. They went to look into the bank and some other business opportunities. We shall see as long as we can keep ahead of the Pinkertons and Mr. Cornwall and the rest of them for a while. Maybe we shall be okay. I mean, it could entirely pan out pretty well, right? I'm going to walk away from the water because I feel like something's going to try to eat me. Okay. Now, before we do anything else, I also want to look at newspapers. Anthony Times number 47. Read. Riverboat. Grand Champagne Reception, Submarine, here we go. Opera singer robbed. Stage, oh yeah, <laughs> that was totally us. <laughs> Stagecoach stopped in Scarlet Meadows. Mrs. Chester Damson, a wealthy socialite and self-trained opera singer who most recently traveled to New York City to sing on Broadway was robbed while traveling through Scarlet Meadows. The ruse began as a man purported to be in the business of throwing musicals, stopped the wagon she was traveling in and asked Mrs. Damson for an impromptu audition. Happy to oblige, she sang her heart out. Little did she know, the man had an accomplice hiding in the thicket. While she was singing, he snuck into the back of the wagon and stole her prized possessions and a great deal of currency. Upon making a report to the local magistrate, she chastised him for not hunting down nefarious elements in the region and allowing wanton robbery and thieving. Mrs. Damson had recently returned from her performances in New York, which received very mixed reviews, which she blamed on the orchestra wandering off key and on the viciousness of the New York press. Sure, it's everybody else's fault, right? Motorized lawnmower patented, invented, invention powered by steam. Imagine never again having to swing a scythe to clear a field of grass. Carlisle McKinroy has filed a patent for a motorized lawnmower that he says will make the chore a thing of ease. It is powered by petrol or paraffin, which heats up to heats up boiling water into steam that runs a contraption and allows the spinning blades to slice through the grass. McKinroy said his invention means that on a hot summer day, a man can clear his lot easily, pushing the machine around as it billows out steam and slices each blade of grass effortlessly. Well, wouldn't that just be a nice thing to have? There are so many things going on and I don't know why I'm all the way over here, but this is just where that loaded me in at. Okay, let's see if there's any food available. Oh, I need to... Should we talk to Strauss? Let's talk to Strauss. Hi, Strauss. Hey, I got some loan money. I did. Put it in the box, Mr. Morgan. Will do. Yeah, that's on my list of things to do today. We did the journal bit, we did the newspapers, we need to deposit money. I want to see if there's any stew available. So Lenny, tell me, how's that book reading coming along? Fine, I guess. Good. Keep it up. <coughs> you do enough of it, maybe you can 
Learn to rob like a gentleman, not a laborer. Well, how do you mean? Having get a job in a bank or uh, as a lawyer. Me? <laughs> Why not? You're still real young. Well, I oh, just hey. never thought. Start. Oh, hi, Tilly. Think. Because otherwise, you might end up as dense or angry as me or <laughs> Arthur. Yeah. <laughs> we wouldn't want that, would we? No, we wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> what is with your like quasi evil laugh? Were you not being serious? Okay, well, um, I need to go upstairs and deposit. Erm, I need to deposit. What's the word? Loan money. Oh hi, Karen and Mary Beth. How you been getting on? Stole hi. a necklace last week. From a lady's house in the mansion district. I don't like San Denis. It scares me. It's like a city built on. built on, I don't know what. Built on. memories. This whole place is all about memory. Memory? It's built on lies and mud and all things bad since this country was discovered. I think it's beautiful. Very romantic. I knew you'd say that. Well, it is. <laughs> Tired mansions gently sinking. Ghosts everywhere. It's wonderful. <laughs> You're mad. She's a romantic. Oh, me, it's fine. Well, if this place is romantic, I ain't sure I understand romance. Oh, yes, you do, Arthur. Uh, good job stealing that necklace, anyway. I did notice that okay, she's well, let's wearing a necklace. Yeah, I think it was in when I did the Tilly mission. I, to be honest, I thought I'd already been. Oh, to be honest, I thought it had always been there, and I just hadn't noticed. <laughs> but maybe, maybe not so much. Okay, we need to go up here to deposit oh, the loan gosh. money. Um, maybe give all debts. $24 and my share was $4. There we go. Okay. What is SA now? That's new. SA. Sadie Adler. Horsemen Apocalypses. It looks like Sadie's getting real angry at somebody. Okay. Well, I wanted to actually head into San Denis and work on these two side quests, this stranger quest here, and then maybe the brother quest because... But he mentioned I really do need to do that one as well in this chapter. So I, I want to do that, but let's see if I can fast travel my way there. And if not Wednesday doesn't follow me, which I feel like she should, I can always summon her at the stables, I think. Right? Um, Sandini, here we go. Plus, apparently there's some more... Uh, vampire messages I also need to find <laughs> so maybe I should I should also do that it just seems like there's an, a never ending list of things to do in San Denis I'm not complaining but I feel like every time I feel like I make progress <laughs> there's like 20 more things that pop up which is okay I sound like I'm complaining but I'm really I'm really not it's like a funny complaining <laughs> Okay, here we are. San Denis. First things. Oh, and there's another one over here. Duchesses and other animals. There is someone here you can meet. Okay, first things first. I want to go to the I want to go to, <laughs> to the to the um electric chair execution. So let's make make my way there and hopefully avoid everything else. I don't know why I thought not Wednesday wouldn't come. I have to fast travel on my horse. I'm apparently I'm just Forgetful this morning already. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Good morning. I'm very bad at saying hi to people still. Hey, friend. 
I don't care. I love the houses, the cobblestone roads. I, I like it a lot. <laughs> okay, I want to try to avoid going in here. Oh, it looks like he's, maybe he's in the tailor shop. Huh. I was trying to, you know what, it's fine. Folks, all aboard! So pretty the house. <laughs> I like them a lot. Morning, partner. Morning. Wasting my time. Well, I tried to say hi, but the game wouldn't let me. I don't know what to tell you. I would like to hitch not Wednesday somewhere because she does prefer that. Oh, there's a hitching post, I think, right up Good here. Answer. Maybe if we can go. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. There's not a hitching post. Well, I tried. Oh, there's some over here. You know what? It's fine. Okay, hang on one second, sir. Just feel the need to save, just in case. Welcome one! Welcome all to this excellent Watch demonstration of my most marvelous machine! The humane electric ending facilitator! For new. A me, chair man. so Oh <laughs> he's like, let me out! You're going to be in a better place! No, he's Just gonna be dead. Calm. Breathe deep and repent, or you will be moved to a better realm. Ladies and gentlemen, behold the calm removal of this friend's existence. Oh gosh, oh gosh, this is, oh my gosh. Electrocute himself. Shoot me, please. I'm guessing Arthur's gonna do that. Oh, let's get up. You don't seem overly humane to me. No, not really. I think it's mighty fine. <laughs> um. Son of a bitch. Oh, that didn't go very well, did it? Professor Bell demonstrates his invention to the public. Good morning. Good morning. Oh no! Please, someone help me! Help! Uh. Doesn't look like I can loot him. Oh, poor professor. I can loot the professor. Is anybody watching? Maybe, maybe nobody's watching. Inspect document. Oh, bad cowboy karma. Electric, electric execution chair. Yeah, I feel like you're, uh, yeah, it, it didn't work very well at all, but I feel like that's the deal with the electric chair. It just doesn't work very well. I, um, <laughs> that was horrible. Torturously horrible. Okay. So wait, what did what did Charles's message say? The artist's way part four. Who's this damsel in distress? I don't I don't I don't know. Who is this damsel in distress? Let's um come not Wednesday. Let's go see what's going on with uh Charles. Maybe that will be more funny than um, a guy getting electrocuted. That I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> I'm, such, I'm such a horrible person. I can't believe he electrocuted himself, the professor. <laughs> it's he really needs 
he needed a better dictionary. <laughs> Though I do have a feeling that quest line's probably complete at this point, considering the professor is no longer with us and has moved on to his own peaceful place, right? Why are we having so many problems? You're being a good girl. Did you want something to eat? Is that what you wanted? Because you're being a little difficult to work with right now. There you go. Is that better? Oh, hitch horse. Come on, girl. Nope. Did I miss it? I think I missed it. it. It's fine. You know what? It's fine. Hi. My friend. My friend. It's me, Chateaulet, the painter. Okay. What are you dressed up like that for? Yeah. Oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art. As bad as it is, I don't think that the art is the problem. I don't think it's the they say leave. Go far away. We will never understand you here. I say I go to Saint Denis. They say that is not far enough. <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. But it doesn't matter. Now I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> okay, come on. Oh. He just throws the fan out of his way. <laughs> he goes through all the effort of the wig, the dress, the makeup, still leaves on the, the goatee beard situation. I'm just, if you're going to commit, sir, you need to fully commit. <laughs> I'll tell you what I want, miss. Civilization, so oppressive, so stifling. I can hardly breathe in this city. Yeah, I kind of know what you mean. He probably does. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans. <laughs> I'll never know. Uh-oh. I know those men. <gasps> I shot on that bar. Quick, behind here. I'm keeping up. Stay close, my chaperone. I'm keeping up. I'm staying close. <laughs> we are away. Come now. Follow me. Okay. I'm I'm following. Those fellas. You, you shat on their bar? But of course, I needed to shit. Seriously? Come on. My I thought that was just an expression. Better than any of the drinks they served in there. Oh. Remind me to avoid that place. Yeah. Another bar to not go to in Saint Denis. Back, back. See money lenders. We go another way. Okay. We go through here. Okay. We're going through here. What's this? Oh, it's nothing. I thought I knew him. <laughs> Please do not do that again. <laughs> okay, moving. Come on. So he he gets mad when a boy asks him to move out of the doorway, but he doesn't get mad at the situation. He's just like, "Please don't do that again, sir." It's just more quests like these in the game. Please, please, please. I hope I find more like this. <laughs> They're just Hello. silly for silliness sake. So wait, you ain't so none of your work. There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but new kinds of brilliance. Not so much. New kinds of deviant? <laughs> the holy offense. We go through there. Go on. Where are you going, pretty lady? Anywhere you want, mon ami. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> this way, I probably shouldn't have done that, but it's too late now. After all, okay. What are you looking at? Nothing. 
Nobody? <laughs> bar shitting. Money borrowing, wife stealing. Yeah. You sure got a way of ingratiating yourself for people. Mm -hmm. If the purpose of life was to be liked, it would be very boring indeed. Uh, I've developed a feeling the purpose ain't to be hated. Hate, love, they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I amuse, do I not? Not really. It's my impropriety. A mediocre life is meaningless. A bold life filled with art and truth, dirty truth. That is something that matters. Is it? Now, well, it's good to know you've got a fail. Look at you, pretty little thing. I love boys. Oh, jeez. Come on. <laughs> hey there! I hope the sailors know who they're punking with. We have many weeks together. We will get to know each other well. Well, good luck to all of you. Yeah. Relax. Hey, up here. She is my ship. I've been here. Is it this one? Whoa. Whoa. <sighs> we made it! Let's go. Oh, uh, no, 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 My God! He's out here. I, I, uh, I didn't look at how to block either. I'll deal with him. I have a lot of friends around here. Beat, 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 beat. Ah. Beat! Beat! Oh, don't get stabbed in the back, Arthur! Oh! Ow! Deal with the guy with the knife first. Ah! Beat, 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 beat. Uh. Oh, no! I guess <laughs> I really do need to look up how to block because I'm really bad at it. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. Yep, okay. And we're back. He's out here. Uh, more friends? I'll deal with him. Okay, that one went better. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, pick up my hat. Where is my hat? Charles? Come on, you better hope this ship's leaving soon. Ah, merci, merci. All aboard for the South Pacific. Adieu. Merci, mon ami. <laughs> so long. Bye. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. <laughs> ah, yes. I hear there the light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir. I oh Guess in that quest line is I'm wanted How why am I ugh. Man It's no fun disguised as a prostitute Chatonet makes his way to the docks to escape Saint Denis and the angry locals on a boat. Okay, so I need to Oh there's lawmen coming. I need to go and pay off my bounty, but Alright, well let me let me let me figure this out. They're investigating can I jump? I can jump. <laughs> can we, can we? Okay, now we need you all to clear the area and let us get on with our work here, please. I, I, I'm concerned to find out what, um, what trouble I, like what I'm swimming in, that's the words I'm looking for. Okay, I need to take something for stamina and I can't. All right, come on, Arthur, we gotta... Oh gosh, we're gonna drown, aren't we? Oh, we're okay, there's a ladder right here. Come on, Arthur. Okay, almost died there. Uh, let's see, cocaine gum, yes. All right, well, I finally managed to escape the law and pay off my $5 bounty. But yeah, it seems like Charles's quests are all now over as well. And I have been exploring in this middle area here a little bit. I'm almost done, but not quite. But I did manage to find another mysterious writing right here. 
if I can ever click on it fast enough. There we go. Mysterious writing. Okay, read. With one long kiss, I draw the life from her and wait the outpost of advancing day. Okay, well, there is another one. I'm going to keep wandering around, seeing if there's any more or anything else exciting. And then we'll head over to do an actual quest. <laughs> and I found another strange writing, I'm assuming. Mysterious writing, rather. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. You know they're having a quadroom ball? Picking our best girls for the white uh, folk. Wait, what? Do I need to? Okay, here's the last one maybe to read. Yeah. Okay, Shady Bell. With well, one long kiss, I draw the life. Okay, I read that one. Oh, sweetest of napes, may your blood remain forever. On my lips, six there will be before the lust is sated. Okay, and then we have a pentagram. I don't actually... Does it tell me where to go? It doesn't. I mean, like, the map tells me where to go. But... I don't actually know where that is. But it's all the spots. I'm guessing somewhere in the middle here is where I need to find a vampire, maybe? I... Maybe we'll do that in the future. I don't know. We'll we'll see. I don't know how well Arthur would do against a vampire to fight. Probably probably not well. <laughs> okay, well, I think with what remains of my day today, I would like to head over and work on this question mark yellow quest just to see what that's all about. What did it say that it was? Let me see if I can click on it again. Dutch mentioned that the gang might be able to help Evelyn Miller. I think that was the writer potential, the writer that... Uh, Angela Bronte wanted dead. Maybe, maybe I could be misremembering. That wouldn't be anything new. Anyway, Evelyn Miller with lobbying officials in San Denis on behalf of Rains Fall, the Native American chief. So American Fathers, part one. Yeah, let's start another multi-part quest. I'm, I'm good at those, right? <laughs> Sometime. You see this here? <laughs> Lost your wind, your no, I'm fine, child. I don't need to be robbed or taken off a of topic or track of what I need to do and I've already lost my train of thought. <laughs> okay, so there's the theater and then it looks like it's right do down mind? here. Let me say break. Hello there. Oh, they want an appointment. Hang on one second. Now, can I hitch my horse? Do you think that's possible? We have an appointment. I don't, that does not seem to be possible. Okay, let's get off my horse. Hi. I'm here to help, apparently. Hey, do I know you? Mr. Well, I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, <laughs> Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. <laughs> uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, uh, to be clear, he... <laughs> He wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. I didn't rob him, though. Okay. Not Do really. You, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, no. This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen. Hi. Mm, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. Oh, that's right. You're not the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore, we've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly, contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. Yeah. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, 
You want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, yeah. but we're very desperate. Yeah, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Yeah. Come along. Mm. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. No, no. Come. Perhaps the Senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Okay, so I need to meet him somewhere. Where am I meeting him at? I'm... Oh! No, that's not it. Am I confused? I don't, I don't see where I'm supposed to be meeting him. I <laughs> literally, I'm like, am I, am I locked into a... No, I'm not locked into a quest. One or let's do log. I gotta do all these treasure quests and I treasure quests and I don't know, I don't even know where to begin those. Oh, chain gang continues at a later time. You guys have told me this stuff that they're they're actually not complete. Mercies of knowledge, that one should be done. Right, bouncing boy. I don't see the quest that I just did anywhere. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to take the opportunity just to pause here today. And on Sunday, let's do the brother, it's brother Dorkin's quest, <laughs> that name. <laughs> and then maybe we'll do Josiah's quest and maybe we'll run into a vampire. That could happen, right? <laughs> and then I feel like I need to do some exploration. I haven't done it in a while. I've done quite a bit in San Denis, so I feel like that's done. But maybe we should do the rest of Lemoyne, and then, I, I don't know, go back over into the strawberry area. I don't know, but I, I'll worry about that later, and, and and yeah, that's just what I'll do. I'll worry about it later. <laughs> so as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe, and I will see you again on Sunday with another new Red Dead Redemption 2 video.